Hi, in previous lecture I discussed sequential sorts of brute force technique. Next I will discuss selection sort and bubble sort. These two are application of brute force approach. These two used for sorting. Given n orderable item, we will rearrange them according to its increasing order. In today lecture I will discuss selection sort. In next lecture I will discuss bubble sort. So let's first understand what is selection sort theoretically, then I will explain through algorithm. We'll start selection sort by scanning entire given list to find the smallest element and exchange it with the first element. So after that first element will be sorted. Next from rest of the element again we'll find the shortest element and that will swap with the second position so like this it will continue and after n minus 1 passes it will be sorted so mainly what we are doing we are selecting the smallest element and that we are swapping with its position like first smallest element that we are swapping with the first position then second smallest element that we are swapping with the second position then third smallest element that we are swapping with the third position like this it will continue at any point you can see the array like this these element are in its final position means these element are sorted now from this we will find the minimum let this is the minimum that will swap with the ai let's discuss the algorithm so for selection sort algorithm input will be a array of orderable element and output will be the same array in increasing order so let's start the algorithm for i 0 to n minus 2 do min will be i next for j i plus 1 to n minus 1 do if a of j less than a of min then min will be j next we will swap a of i with a of min so this is the selection sort algorithm let me explain through example that you can understand so let's take one array this is a array having seven elements so n equals to seven and i value i range from 0 to n minus 2 so it will range from 0 to 5 here index will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 i value range from 0 to 5 and j value range from i plus 1 to n minus 1 initially i equals to 0 min will be i so min will be 0 next for j i plus 1 to n minus 1 so j value will be i 0 0 plus 1 it will be 1 for j 1 then we will check if a of j less than a of min. What is a of 1? a of 1 is 4. Is 4 less than a of min? What is min? Min equals to 0. So is 4 less than 8? Yes. Now min will be j. Means min will be its index. Min will be 1. Next j value will increase. So now j will be 2. Again we will check a of 2 less than a of min means a of 1 what is a of 2 a of 2 is 6 is 6 less than 4 no next j value will be 3 and we'll check is a of 3 less than a of 1 what is a of 3 it is 9 is 9 less than 4 no next j value will be 4 and we'll check is a of 4 less than a of 1 a of 4 is 2 is 2 less than 4 yes so min will be 4 now this is min next j value will be 5 and we'll check is a of 5 less than a of 4 what is a of 5 is 3 less than 2 no next j value will be 6 is a of 6 less than a of 4 a of 6 value is what 1 is 1 less than 2 yes so mean will be 6 so after running this inner for loop we found mean is this so next what we'll do is we'll swap a of i with a of mean what is i i is 0 so we'll swap 
a of 0 with a of 6 these two element will swap one will come here and it will come here so after swapping we'll get this now index will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 i value will be here i value will be 1 previously i was 0 now i is 1 and mean will be i so mean will be 1 next j value will be i plus 1 to n minus 1 so j will be 2 now j is here so we'll check is 6 less than 4 no then j value will be 3 we'll check is 9 less than 4 no next j value will be 4 is 2 less than 4 yes now this is mean is 3 less than 2 no next we'll check is 8 less than 2 no so finally we found mean is 4 and that we need to swap with a of i i is what i is 1 so these two will swap 4 will come in 2 place and 2 will come in 4 place so we are swapping a of 1 with a of 4 after swapping we'll get this now i will be 2 and j will range from 3 to 6 and mean is also 2 as mean equals to i so mean is also 2 is 9 less than 6 no next j value will increase we'll check is 4 less than 6 yes 4 is less than 6 so mean will be 4 next j value will be 5 so is 3 less than 4 yes next we'll check is a of 6 less than a of 5 means is 8 less than 3 no so finally we got minimum value as 3 its index is 5 that will swap with a of i and i value is 2 so we'll swap a of 5 with a of 2 so in place of this 6 we'll write 3 and in place of this 3 we'll write 6 now after swapping we'll get this so these 1, 2, 3 are already sorted and these are not sorted. Now i value is 3 and mean also 3 and j will range from 4 to 6. So j is here. Now we will check is 4 less than 9. Yes. So next new mean will be this and j value increase from 4 to 5. Next we will check is 6 less than 4. No. Is 8 less than 4. No. So finally we got mean as this, mean value is 4, its index is also 4, we'll swap a of 3 with a of 4, here we'll write 4, here we'll write 9. After swapping we got this, i will be here and this is also our mean and j will range from 5 to 6. So we'll check is 6 less than 9, yes, so now new mean will be this. Next we'll check is 8 less than 6, no. So finally we found minus this, that will swap with a of i. So this 6 will come here and 9 will come here. So after swapping we got this, now i is here, j is here and this is our main. So we'll check is 8 less than 9, yes. So new main will be this. Next we'll swap these two positions. So 8 will come here and 9 will come here. We need to run i value from 0 till n minus 2. This is our n minus 2. So after this it is already sorted. This 9 is already at its position. So don't need to sort it. It is already sorted. So in selection sort what we are doing. We are selecting the minimum from the list. And that we are swapping with its position. Again we are selecting the minimum from the list that we are swapping with its position. Like first minimum that will swap with the first position. Second minimum that will swap with the second position. Third minimum that we are swapping with the third position. Then fourth minimum that we are swapping with the fourth position. Like this will continue till n minus 1 passes and after this it will be sort. Now you guys understood the algorithm. Let's find the time complexity. For time complexity, we need to find what is the basic operation. Your basic operation is this. If a of j less than a of min, that we are comparing for everything. If it is less, then min value will change. If it is not less, then min value will not change. 
but still we are comparing for every j value so this is our basic operation and we can write in some expression for finding the time complexity so we can write like this summation i 0 to n minus 2 this is for first for loop then summation j equals to i plus 1 to n minus 1 this is for second for loop and 1 as there is one basic operation next we need to evaluate this for finding time complexity first we will do for this so it will be upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 upper limit is n minus 1 lower limit is i plus 1 so upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 so after solving this minus 1 plus 1 will be cancelled we will get n minus i minus 1 this thing again we can simplify we can write in two term we can write some i 0 to n minus 2 then constant part different i part different so we can write n minus 1 minus some i equals to 0 to n minus 2 i this part is constant so we can take to left side n minus 1 and then here it will be 1 left we can write upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 so it will be n minus 2 minus 0 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 it will be minus 1 so n minus 1 multiplication n minus 1 it will be n minus 1 square and for this we know the formula it will be n minus 2 multiplication n minus 1 divided 2 if sum i equals to 0 to n here i that is n into n plus 1 divided 2 here maximum term is n minus 2 so it will be n minus 2 multiplication n minus 2 plus 1 it will be n minus 1 divided 2 again we can simplify it so we will take 2 and we can take n minus 1 as a common after taking n minus 1 we will get 2 into this so it will be 2n minus 2 and here this term will left it will be minus n plus 2 minus minus 2 it will be plus 2 so this minus 2 plus 2 will be cancelled 2n minus n it will be n so finally we will get n minus 1 multiplication n divide 2 that I have written here n multiplication n minus 1 divided 2 2. So approximately this will be equivalent to n square. You can say time complexity is theta of n square. So for selection short running time is theta of n square in both best case and in worst case. But number of swap is only theta of n or you can say n minus 1. At every step at every passes we are just doing one swap here we did one swap here we did one swap so for seven element we did six swap you can count one two three four five six so we are just doing n minus one swap for n element and this property distinguish selection sort positively from many other setting algorithm your number of swap is less we are doing just n minus one swap or you can say theta of n number of swap but time complexity is theta of n square number of swap is theta of n time complexity is theta of n square in both best case and worst case in next lecture i will discuss bubble set if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you